God's promise to give us good gifts and blessings is a reminder of His faithfulness and unconditional love. In this message, we will explore how God's promise to give can help us live our lives in gratitude and generosity. Welcome Kindred Soul I am honored to be here with you and share spirit-led messages to nourish your soul. As we go through the teachings, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Return anytime you want clarification or simply want more nourishment. At the end, I will be providing you with the option of extended teachings if you wish to continue. Let's open the best frequency by speaking words of positivity. I am light, loved, and whole, created and designed for a purpose. I give and receive abundance, and work with all my heart as I open the pathway for others. Let's begin. Understanding God's promise for giving. When we give generously, we are reflecting the goodness of God. Giving is a form of worship and obedience, and it allows us to be a blessing to others and make a positive impact in the world. When we give with a pure heart and the right motives, God will pour out His blessings upon us. This doesn't necessarily mean financial blessings, but it could be in the form of spiritual blessings, relationships, or opportunities. It's important to understand that God's promise for giving isn't just about receiving blessings, but it's also about being a steward of what He has entrusted to us. We are called to manage our resources wisely. God's promise for giving is that every good and perfect gift comes from Him, and He promises to bless those who give generously. We are called to be faithful stewards of what God has given us, and to use our resources to make a positive impact in the world. The Benefits of Giving Giving is a two-way street. While we may initially focus on how our giving can help those in need, we must also recognize the incredible benefits that come from giving. Here are a few benefits of giving that we should all consider. 1. Increased happiness and fulfillment. Giving is often accompanied by a sense of joy and fulfillment that comes from knowing we have made a positive impact on someone's life. This feeling of happiness can be long-lasting and contagious, as it encourages others to give as well. 2. Improved Physical Health Studies have shown that those who give to others have lower levels of stress, better immune systems, and a longer life expectancy. Giving can literally help improve your physical health. 3. Strengthened Relationships When we give to others, we develop deeper connections with them. Whether it's volunteering at a local shelter or giving financially to a loved one, giving can strengthen our relationships with others and provide a sense of belonging. 4. Spiritual Growth Giving is a powerful way to grow spiritually. As we give of ourselves and our resources, we learn to trust in God's provision and recognize that everything we have is ultimately a gift from Him. This strengthens our faith and helps us develop a heart of gratitude. 5. Blessings from God Perhaps the greatest benefit of giving is the blessings we receive from God. When we give generously, God promises to bless us abundantly, Malachi 3, 10. These blessings may not always come in the form of material wealth, but they will come in ways that are infinitely more valuable, such as increased faith, peace, and joy. As we consider these benefits of giving, let us not forget that our giving must come from a genuine desire to help others, not just for personal gain. When our giving is motivated by love and compassion, 
we can truly experience the full benefits of this incredible gift. Obstacles to giving As much as God wants us to give generously, there are obstacles that we often face when it comes to giving. Some of these obstacles are rooted in our fear, while others are related to our circumstances and environment. Here are some common obstacles to giving that we need to be aware of. 1. Fear of scarcity. One of the main reasons we don't give generously is our fear that we won't have enough for ourselves. We think that if we give away what we have, we will be left with nothing. This fear can be a result of our past experiences or our current financial situation. 2. Greed. Greed is another obstacle to giving. When we become too focused on accumulating wealth, we can become blind to the needs of others. We can become so obsessed with our own wants and desires that we forget that God has called us to be generous with what we have. 3. Lack of trust. Sometimes we struggle to give because we don't trust the organizations or people we are giving to. We may have doubts about their integrity or how they will use the funds we give them. This lack of trust can be a significant obstacle to giving. 4. Selfishness. Selfishness is another obstacle to giving. When we are too focused on ourselves, we may not see the needs of others. We may be so wrapped up in our own lives that we don't take the time to consider how we can help those around us. Overcoming these obstacles is essential if we want to develop a heart of generosity. It requires us to have faith in God's provision and to trust in His plan for our lives. As we overcome these obstacles, we will begin to experience the joy of giving and the blessings that come with it. Trusting God's Plan for Giving James 1, 17 reminds us that every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. We must trust in God's unwavering promise that He will always provide for us, even when we don't see how it will happen. We can trust in His faithfulness and His plan for our lives, including our finances. God's plan for giving is not just about giving money or possessions, but also giving of our time and talents. We can trust that when we give to others in need, we are also serving and giving to God. When we trust in God's plan for giving, we are able to let go of our worries and concerns about our finances and possessions. We can focus on giving freely and generously, knowing that God will always provide for us. We can also experience the joy and blessings that come from giving to others in need. Steps to Develop a Heart of Generosity Generosity is not just an action but a way of life. It's a mindset and a heart posture. It takes time and effort to develop, but the rewards are immeasurable. Here are some steps to help you develop a heart of generosity. 1. Start with gratitude. One of the best ways to cultivate generosity is by starting with gratitude. Make a list of the blessings in your life and give thanks for each one. When you see all that God has done for you, it will be easier to give to others. 2. Learn to share. Start by sharing the resources you have with those around you. This could be your time, your talents, or your finances. As you give, you'll start to feel the joy that comes with being a blessing to others. 3. Practice sacrifice. Giving generously requires sacrifice. It may mean sacrificing your time, money, or possessions. 
It's important to remember that what you're sacrificing is not yours to begin with. It's all God's. And He has entrusted it to you to steward well. 4. Set a giving goal. Determine how much you want to give each week or month and commit to it. Set a realistic goal that challenges you to stretch but doesn't cause undue stress. As you work towards your goal, you'll develop the habit of giving. 5. Give joyfully. Giving should never be done out of obligation or guilt. Instead, it should be done with joy and gratitude. Give generously and cheerfully, knowing that your giving is making a difference in the lives of others. Developing a heart of generosity takes time and effort, but it's worth it. As you give generously, you'll experience the joy and fulfillment that comes from living a life of purpose and generosity. Remember, God's promise for giving is unwavering, and He will always provide for those who give with a willing heart. Thank you for listening to this teaching. If you would like to go further with this teaching, or any others, Please visit firstlightteaching.com. I also want to thank any of you who may have donated. Your blessings have provided me the opportunity to bring this to you and share my light with the world.